Derek Dietz, and today I want to spend a little time talking about the health of our mouth, the teeth, the gums, the jaw, what we can do to support mouth health naturally. One of the biggest issues that come up here are infections in the teeth and gums, acute pain in the mouth. We can deal with these naturally. There are herbs in nature that are very supportive to infections in the body, to being able to clear these infections. A formula put together with either garlic or plantain is very useful in clearing infections anywhere in the body. I found a formula based on plantain, which goes to the lymphatic system, is one of the best ones to use for the teeth. The best herb for clearing infection from the teeth and gums would be plantain. Plantain goes primarily to the lymphatic system, clearing infection and inflammation from the lymphatic system. This is the system that feeds the teeth and the gums because they are closed, so it comes from the inside. A good formula would be based on the master herb of plantain, and then I'd put some black walnut in there, golden seal, which is an excellent um, anti-infection um, uh, support formula uh, herb. Bugleweed, marshmallow root, and lobelia work very well in a formula that is to clear infection coming from the lymphatic system. The other master herb for infection that everyone seems to know about is garlic. Garlic goes system-wide. A good formula that you could put together based on garlic would be garlic, dandelion, golden seal. These will help clear the infection. This is a great uh, place to begin for like a bladder infection, the common cold, flu, um, anything where it's like a surface infection, not really deep, where the lymphatic system is feeding it. You can go between the two formulas if you've got really bad infections going on in your body. You can alternate between a formula based on plantain and a formula based on garlic, switching off every three hours, every two hour, every hour between the two formulas just depending on the intensity of the infection work that you want to do. Um, a light uh, infection work would probably be every three hours taking uh, a herbal formula to support clearing the infection. Um, moderate work would be every two hours. You could switch between the two or just take the one that seemed to be appropriate for what you're doing. Or every hour for intense infection work. And the other supporting formula would be a formula based on echinacea. Echinacea sends a chemical command to your immune system to produce more immune system so that you have the immune cells to attach and neutralize the infection, the waste, what we call die-off, that is being produced by the herbals that are supporting the clearing of the infection from the system. So you would want to take uh, a good amount of echinacea so that you can build your immune system to deal with the die-off so you don't end up reabsorbing the infection and it going in. If you don't have enough immune cells to attach and neutralize each piece of waste that needs to be eliminated, you'll just reabsorb it. And that's when you get what people call healing crisis. That's when the waste is going back in and you end up feeling like you've been run over by a freight train, achy, um, flu-like symptoms, headachy. Um, some people become depressed, black uh, moods. All of this is, is indication that the immune system is crashing, that you don't have enough immune cells to deal with the work that you're doing, that the die-off is being reabsorbed. This you do not want to happen. You want it to get on out. Um, also, the another larger step that you can do when you're trying to clear an infection from the body 
is to do a liver flush, what we call an ELF, one, two, three times a week or more, depending on the intensity of the infection that you are working to clear from your body. So um, that is an overall infection program, but let's get back to the teeth and gums. A couple of formulas or herbals that could be very supportive to the teeth itself would be a good tincture that you could use in a water pick to take and stimulate the gums. A formula like this, uh, you would want barberry root, white oak bark, echinacea, tea tree oil, peppermint oil, and cayenne. This would be stimulating, um, antibacterial. The master herb for the teeth is white oak bark, which um, will help um, tighten the gums and uh, support overall gum health. I have seen a formula with this herbal combination um, take and reduce swelling in the mouth under my crown. Um, if my uh, the crown becomes irritated or something, I can take and uh, use uh, this formula with uh, the water pick and just go in there and uh, clean it up and within just a few hours the swelling is completely gone and it just tightens all that back up again. Um, oh and it's also excellent for uh, a toothache. Uh, years ago we had one of our um, delivery guys come by and he was I think with, um, oh, I can't remember, one of our office supply companies when we had our offices in Hendersonville. And he was about ready. We were going to be the last delivery he made because his tooth was hurting so bad. He had a really bad toothache. And uh, I just offered him uh, a little bit of, um, of uh, a formula for the teeth on a Q-tip. And he just took and put it over his um, tooth. And before he left, in two or three minutes, the pain was completely gone. It just numbed it out and gave him time to get through his day, get his appointment made, and go get his tooth taken care of. It was an excellent aid for just stopping the throbbing pain that was in his tooth. Um, another really good support is a tooth powder. Uh, this tooth powder can be used to pack over the um, an inflamed. Um, swollen, receding gums, uh, issues in the mouth like that, or um, it's also great for brushing the teeth. The old-fashioned tooth powders, many of you probably remember them. Um, what you do is you just take and dip your toothbrush in water and then tap it in the powder, tap off any excess, and then just brush your teeth normally. And the powder is excellent for um, uh, restoring the luster and, and the shine to the teeth and getting rid of the, the waste on it. Um, a good combination for tooth powder would be, um, and it's an herbal food combination, white oak bark, oat straw, comfrey root, horsetail grass, lobelia, cloves, peppermint uh, powders. Uh, this is excellent. Um, a combination of those herbals would be excellent just for mouth health and like I said um, I'm going to demonstrate in a few minutes just how to make a little pack that you can insert between the gum and your cheek and just put it over the area to help reduce inflammation and tighten the teeth back up um, and just works um, to help clear issues in the gum and teeth. Okay, we're going to demonstrate the water pick. Um, most of you know what one is, some of you may not. This is a water pick. I've used several different ones over the years, and the handheld ones don't seem to have the power or the um, ability to do what I want. Um, I like this unit the best. I have to replace it every two or three years. The essential oils in the uh, formula that I use uh, will eat through the plastic and um, uh, 
destroy the tubing if I don't flush with clear water after I use the, the uh, formula in it. Um, the tooth and, and uh, the tooth formula, you probably want to just use one or two dropper pulls right into the reservoir. If you use too much, you'll know it because the tea tree oil will make you cough <laughs> if it's um, too rich. So start out with just a couple dropper pulls. If it seems like that's not enough, well then you can use more. For me, two is pretty good. That that will keep me. If I go much past that, I'll be coughing and having a hard time doing the procedure. Um, and you put it in. You just rinse your mouth like you normally would with it. Um, just put it around between the gums. The uh, handle here. This will come up. You can, uh, on this one, you just hold the button while you bring it to your mouth, and that will stop the flow, and then once you get it in there, you can just clean your mouth and just let the uh, fluid run back out. You don't swallow tooth and gum for you. And um, then when, when you've used up your water, I wouldn't go with cold water. I would go with a warm water, uh, not hot, but warm. Um, cold just does not uh, do well in, in a mouth. Um, but that is the water pick, and uh, it's an excellent aid and will really uh, promote mouth he um, health to the mouth and tightening up the gum. All right, I want to demonstrate how to make a little poultice that you can put in between the teeth and the gums to help take down inflammation, tighten the teeth. And uh, it's uh, the tooth powder formula. And um, what we're going to do is combine this. Now, this can be combined, com you can combine it with um, water, um, olive oil, uh, coconut oil. You would not really want this to make them in advance, to make little um, uh, pieces in advance that you would chill in the coconut oil and make them hard because cold in an inflamed mouth is just not going to work. It's going to be very painful. So you would really want um, uh, body temperature, room temperature, and, and to make it fresh, not to necessarily so store this in advance. I'm going to go ahead and combine it today with a little bit of olive oil just to uh, moisten it. And like I said, you can use water, you can use coconut oil, olive oil, aloe vera gel, um, whatever you find um, that you want to use to uh, take and moisten it and just make yourself a, um, a stiff paste. The, um, my husband's had mouth issues over the years and he has found pain relief and, and benefit from using the, um, drawing out the uh, infection and, and um, inflammation with uh, the tooth powder combined into a, um, a paste. Yeah, it's a little bit Add 
this to a uh, piece of uh, gauze. Um, the gauze that I like, I have a very hard time finding that anymore. Uh, the real stringy stuff that worked um, seemed to work really well. But this is still not a dense material. Um, I just took and opened up a, a little pad and um, took the, separated the pieces. So uh, just adding. Oh, I almost forgot one step. Uh, just two or three drops of teach of of the uh, tooth and gum tincture added to this. Um, it will just be stimulating the tea tree oil and all that will stimulate uh, circulation and everything. You don't want to add more than that um, simply because uh, it will um, start to degrade the tissue if you have too much tea tree oil just sitting on there. Uh, but uh, that will add just a little bit of stimulation uh, to the um, to the pack. Okay, just go ahead and put a little bit on your gauze and then you're just going to roll that into a piece and uh, I wouldn't roll it around too much. I've never been one for mouth issues, so it's not something I've needed to do a whole lot. It doesn't taste bad. The formula is actually pleasant. And you can just leave that packed in there over the affected area. If you want, you can do a large piece. I'm going to take it out so I can talk. You can do a larger piece that covers the whole um, bottom or top and leave it in all night when you're sleeping. Uh, this is going to help tighten the teeth and um, take down inflammation in the, in the gum area. Okay, one last thing that can be done to help pull the infection out of the, uh, the jaw, the tooth and gum, and it's also very comforting, is the charcoal flaxseed poultice. This is an infection poultice that is made hot and used on the outside of the body to draw infection out from an open wound. It will also purify uh, a wound. Um, I'll get more into this particular uh, procedure in another blog on, um, on infection. The instructions to do it can be found on our website on the infection info sheet. But it is an excellent aid. It's very warm. It's very comforting for a toothache, and it will help pull the inflammation and, and infection out into itself, right through the, the, gaw, the jaw, the applying it to the outside of the body. Okay, well, this is a, an overview on mouth issues. Um, they can be acute, very painful. If you have any questions or there's more that we can do to uh, help or answer on this, just let me know. Um, you'll see my email on the bottom of the screen. Uh, feel free to email and um, subscribe to us if you like these videos.